came to the YouTube Teacher Studio because I thought it'd be a great way to meet and connect with other educators that are investigating how they can really utilize the power of YouTube to reach their students and reach students globally. Well, you know, I, I've seen YouTube as really a kind of a portfolio storage place for students to put things. We've always encouraged that so they own their content and they take it with them and they, it's part of their uh, digital self that they you know continue to mold into more and more positive ways. But one of the things I took away from the teacher studio was the intricate uh, kind of interactive things you can do with YouTube where you can get students not just putting their content there but with teachers creating content and then getting kids to kind of choose their own path take quizzes uh, and navigate through multiple videos as a way of maybe reviewing information uh, I'm looking forward to incorporating some of that I think mostly you know my goal will be to get teachers using it past showing videos I mean, I think that's the, the first step is that people will show a video on YouTube, but getting to that next step of actually knowing that I'm teaching every day, I have content that's worthwhile, um, why don't I do it once, do it really well, and, and let the whole world see it. So I, I think really push towards getting teachers to create their own channel and start screencasting live uh, some of their lectures and um, what they're doing. I think it's really powerful for students to be able to have access to those videos, even if they saw it in class that day, th their ability to pause, rewind, and, and, and watch it at the pace they need to be able to see it. So I'm really excited about getting teachers to put those lessons up on YouTube for their students. Well, first, I, I think the whole blocking of YouTube in schools is based on fear. And I don't think that's a reason we should be doing anything, really. Um, I think we need to approach it from a, from a level of talking with kids about being responsible. And if you think of personal responsibility and us teaching that, giving kids opportunities to fail, um, but teaching this idea of if you get to something bad, hit the back button, get out of there, we shouldn't be there. Then as kids move through their lives, they're picking up those skills, but if we just block everything and then suddenly throw them to the wolves, uh, when they go to a school that doesn't block YouTube or when they graduate from high school, I mean, it just seems silly not to be engaging young learners in conversations and instead just throwing up walls.